Yeah, see, that Toko thing did waste our morning free time. God damn yep. it, Toko. Bing bong. Today we would have finished off Chihiro too. Uh, lewd. School announcement. School small. Oh. Nighttime is quickly approaching, but before it arrives, Ooh. all students, please gather in the gym immediately. <sighs> What? Pretty sure this is the, the motive. Emergency! Right. So, there's no gun in my room, right? No. What happens if I break the rules and just lay in here? Um, he would pop in and kill you. The bear would? Yeah. Oh, right, he can blow up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I forgot about that. And also, he could just summon shit wherever he is, remember? Summon the mighty gun gear to kill Junko. Gun gear. Oh, Kyoko, did you hear the announcement <gasps> just now? I don't want to go, but you don't have any other choice, right. right? I can't imagine it's going to be good news, but it's not a good idea to defy him here or now. Goodbye. So I'm going on ahead. I really can't do anything except what Monokuma tells me. Yo. Yeah, has everyone already gone on ahead? It looks that way. I don't like it, but there's nothing good gonna come from ignoring that goddamn bear. Um, Mondo? You sure you're okay? You kinda went all out in that sauna. What? Huh? Who went all out? That shit doesn't even faze me. Yo. But you know, <laughs> there are the edges hell there are the edge of hell, I promise. I promise between men was waiting for me. Never saw it yeah. coming. Anyway, let's get our asses into the gym. And something unique must have happened between the two of them. <laughs> yeah, unique. Yeah. It's just called sex. I mean, they were saying about, you know, their faces blowing and on their knees. Yeah. No one else. Mm -mm. Trying to start the class trial already? Damn, Gabe. It's honestly way faster if I just sidestep the entire way. I mean, no, I think you still go at the same speed. Yeah, but I don't get caught on door frames. Well, just don't get caught on door frames, nerd. God, Hifumi's got such chicken legs. Hey, Fumi, how come you haven't gone in yet? Why is that? Mr. Nike, don't scare me like that! Sorry, but we should really go inside. <laughs> no, don't go, you can't go! Mm -hmm. That's what my ghost friend is telling me. I don't feel good about it either, but we can't just ignore this. Damn, that's true too. I suppose. I have to go too. Mm. Asking us all to gather in a sudden, all of a sudden like this, what could he possibly want? Well, indeed, what might await us this time? <laughs> Sorry, God. <laughs> he keeps things interesting, that's for certain. Um... How's this funny? Can't you smile like a normal person for once? Like how the housewives on the classic TV show smiles at the end of an episode? What the heck? That's something totally messed up. Shit, there's something totally messed up with you if you can laugh at a time like this. <laughs> Which of us is actually messed up? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Nothing particular, just admiring, that's all. I don't want to kill anyone, but I also want, don't want to stay here, living in a blind denial day after day. <laughs> I was just admiring how you can live like that and still keep your sanity. What is this? I'm not in denial. <laughs> that reminds me, remembering how you kept talking about how the police or whoever wanted to come help us? How'd that turn out? It seems to me there's no sign whatsoever of possible rest. Well, that's just. Huh? I wonder what actually happened. Certainly. It's strange, that's true. There's no way the police wouldn't, but we're right in the major urban area. What? The police suck! Hmm. 
On the contrary, the mastermind may just be that powerful to take control of even the police. Could it be? <laughs> then don't say it. Hmm. It's not like some occult mystery. Huh? Heard what? Hmm. What kind of sound? Hmm. Could it be a construction site? You're serious. <laughs> then you definitely made it up. Must have just been the sound of the ocean in that head of yours. That's Monokuma. Oh, okay. Sure. Say what? What you talking about, Taco? Yeah, there is. Look at all the not people that are here now. Are uh, the people who are not here now? Yes. <sighs> He's arrived. Arrived, chicken arrived. <laughs> But here it was it heard wasn't the sound of construction, but it could have been an explosion. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> or maybe a machine gun. <laughs> that can idly sound like construction in a way. What are you talking about? Beyond this point, my mouth is zipped. My lips are sealed. I'm fully puckered. It's a secret little secret. Yeah. Fine, then let's move on to what you can tell us. So what this game is trying to insinuate is that uh, the world has gone to hell outside of this school and that there's no one left to help us. Why did you call us off here? Say what? You don't beat around the old bush, do you? Uh, ready for me to get to the point, huh? You please. But before that, you mind if I vent a little? Mm. I'm low energy these days, my stitching's even losing all of its shine and luster. I'm thinking it's probably because of this ho-hum, boring, old, everyday life. I'm looking for something with a little more stimulation. Something rife with danger and intrigue. Listen, can I just be frank? No, you're Monokuma. The next blockhead hasn't shown up yet, and I'm getting bored. So I've decided to come up with a new way to motivate you. Motivate? Is it another one of those videos or something? How are you going to show some demented thing to try and drive us all to murder? Drive you to murder? What's a mean thing to say? It's just awful! I don't know what you've got planned, but we're not going to kill each other anymore! No matter what you do, I swear to God, we won't! Sure. That's very big talk. Do your best to back it up, okay? Now then, with your permission, let me begin. So this time, it's embarrassing memories and secrets. As long as you're alive, it's a given that there's things you don't want other people to know about you. So I did a little investigating my own, and I dug up some of your darkest secrets. And those embarrassing memories and secrets are all contained in the envelopes I have right here. I'm going to hand them out now, so take a second to take a peek. As Monokuma spoke, he tossed the envelopes at her feet. I quickly snatched the envelope with my name written on it. I nervously pulled out what was written inside, and my entire body suddenly went rigid. Lakota wet the bed until he was in fifth Yeah, grade. you thought that was a joke from the abridged series. No, that was real. That was real. Yep. Yep. Alright. I want to see that's not worth killing someone over. Which is yeah. why Makoto doesn't kill people. Yeah, he... He's too normal to have outlandish secrets. <laughs> like, his entire thing was, oh, his family may be in danger. He's like, yes, but these other people would be in danger if I killed them. Oh, he wet the bed. Okay, that's not worth killing someone over. I don't even know what happened. To Celeste probably has, over. like, murdered someone when she was six years old for a pack of camels and $20. <laughs> okay. What? How? Cheated in a swim truck. No. How do you find out about this? She um, goes skinny dipping every night. <laughs> now that the pool has been revealed. Everyone started talking at once. I like I like the idea that Makoto's was like an actual past thing, and everyone else has dangerous secrets from literally the last two days. 
Yeah. <laughs> like, like Monokuma was just like, okay, the only thing that he's done is talk to Chihiro repeatedly. So, I mean, that's not really a big secret, so I'll just do yeah. the wet the bed. But everyone else, they've done shit since they got to this school. Yeah. <laughs> you have 24 hours if someone doesn't become blackened by then. All of your deepest, darkest, most embarrassingest secrets will be exposed to the world. Maybe I'll roll a crowded intersection in a van strapped with loudspeakers and spill the beans. Yeah! It wouldn't... Wouldn't that be so embarrassing? So that's what you meant by motivate? <laughs> yep, you got it. They're all pretty unpleasant, trust me. None of you want them to reveal that stuff, right? Oh, I, okay. I realized why that didn't make any sense for that voice. It's definitely something I'd rather people not know, but you would never kill a, over something like that. I mean, well, you don't know that. What did you say? He's right. Your plan is doomed to fail. No one's gonna murder something for that kind of thing. Is it because, for better or worse, your memory is still a way to connect to the outside world? I have stuff I don't want anyone to know about no matter what, so I assumed you'd all be the same. Which is why I put so much effort into repairing this next motive. And you're all saying you really want to kill each other over this stuff? That just sucks. Well, what can you do? Okay, then the 24 hours are exposed all your secrets just to make myself feel a little better. So sad, so depressed, fair not well. Like, literally, Monokuma couldn't find anything worse for Nagi than he wet the bed until 5th grade. Meanwhile, Toko's is about uh, and Mondo's is about, you know. So, like, I, I feel mean, like there's a discrepancy I mean, in the level of concern here. I feel like you just spoiled something pretty big. <laughs> no. You already know it. Yeah, I do. So I'm just gonna go beep over what you just said. <laughs> okay, whatever. We literally uh, find it out in this trial. Yeah, I know. With an almost convincing look of depression, depressed dejection on his face, Monokuma receded into the gym steps. So, um, I didn't know what to expect at first, but maybe we dodged a bullet on this one. Um, I mean, yeah, having no secrets revealed is going to be totally embarrassing. But that's seriously not enough to give someone a reason to kill, right? Listen to me. Good news, everyone. I have a brilliant idea. Why don't we all just confess the secrets in those envelopes right here and now? If we do that, any and all motive for murder will vanish. That's pretty smart, right? Okay, so my embarrassing thing is... I don't want to hear your stupid story! <laughs> but guys, I don't... I don't want to talk about it! I don't care what anyone says! I don't want to talk about mine. So, Toko has a real reason. And, yeah. um, hers would cause serious shit if she ever got out of this school. Yeah. Yeah, she has no future, essentially, from here on out. Um, yeah. Nayagi, people like, I mean, who gives a shit? Do you what, still at the bed? Okay, moving on. As for me... Neither do I. Not because it's unpleasant, but just because it's possible. Uh, she, I think I actually... I she, think, she, I, lost, she lost a game of rock, paper, scissors when she was in second grade. That's what drove her into this. I think I do know what hers is, actually. She lost a game of rock, paper, scissors in second grade. You're welcome. Oh? Well, it's just human nature to want to hear about it when it says it's possible. Come on, it'll be good for you. Absolutely not. It's okay, just a little bit. Come on, come on, come on. As I said, here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I said I don't want to talk about it, you human bag of lard. I agree with them. There's no need to discuss it. What do you think, your hero? Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry, but I don't really want to talk about it right now. But, but, but I also don't want to leave things the way they are. So maybe I can talk about it later. After I try my best to become strong, then I can tell everyone. So, um, if you don't want to talk, you don't have to. I'm not super excited about it either. 
That's true. If, er if everyone's that much against it, even if my bro is the one that suggested it, I gotta say no. Well, uh, that's okay then. Either way, it's, it's just a few secrets. I'm sure nobody's about to kill some anybody over it. I hope you're right. A secret is so bad you'd kill someone to keep it. Nobody's got something like that, right? Everyone else in this room. Okay, I'll stop with all the secret talk, but each of us has 24 hours to get ready. Having our secrets exposed isn't going to be fun, but it's not like we're going to die because of it. So, you know, um, don't do anything hasty. The way you keep repeating it kind of makes me worry even more. Oh, um, okay, sorry. I know it's going to be tough, but... Dong, bing, bong. Announcement. It is now 10 p.m. So run for your lives if you don't want to die. But it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. I just imagine as we're running back to the dorm, a bunch of turrets just start firing at us because we're in the school at night time. Hmm. Good idea. We need to prepare for tomorrow. I was left with an anxiety I just couldn't shake, but we left things as they were, and left things as they lay. One by one, we headed back to our rooms. Secrets or memories you don't want anyone to know about. A way to connect to the outside world. Honestly, all that crap Monokumo was spouting didn't have any effect on me. There's no way anyone would kill over stuff like that, or at least that's what I thought. But maybe I was just being optimistic. Which is probably why, without too much of a struggle... Jeez, I'm more tired than usual. Super tired today. I fell asleep. What I didn't know was that even then a tragedy was taking place. So we never got to it. What? We never... finished. Finished what? Chihiro? Hey, do you have a second? I want to confide in you. It's Bro. about the prevailing world attitude right now. Yeah, the difference between funny. passive and active, I mean... For example, what's the difference between like, Oops, I killed him, and yeah, that's right, I killed him. Amazingly, there are tons of people who don't even understand the difference. Can you believe it? But there's a huge difference between oops and that's right. You know what I'm saying, right? Anyone can kill someone in the heat of the moment, but surprisingly few people can do it with calculated intent. To make that choice, they put, then put in action simply harder than letting your emotions lead you. It's all about preparation, resolve. So maybe you're wondering, what's the point well, I'm trying to make? I'm not totally sure myself. Maybe you should try reading between the lines. So, Gabe, did you hear me? Because I asked you a question and you didn't answer me. I said, what, what do you mean? Like, Chihiro? Uh, no. We still had one more, but I don't know if we'll be able to do it. We might we might still be able to do it today. A tragedy is taking place, it said, so we'll see. Morning. Good. I thought Good. it was that. Morning. Good morning. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> nice reaction. I'm glad to see you didn't disappoint. What? What are you doing here? I want to spice things up. So instead of a school announcement, I decided to wake you up in person. What the hell for? Because it's fun. And as long as I'm here, I figured we'd hear it right from the bear's mouth. Hear what? Are you sure you should be acting this laid back? I mean, even though something happened when you're buddy-buddy classmates? Damn. Alright, nope. Why didn't we get to finish her? I don't know. Normally we- I think it's just because of that toko that fucked us over. Because during the previous trial, we needed to do it instead of Celeste. That's why. Oh, well. Yep. What? Say what? What? Your face is all blue like someone on the verge of death! What happened? What are you talking about? That's for me to know and you to find out! Good luck! Something's happened to someone? Is it- was it- No, it can't be. There's no way someone would- But what if- No, what ifs are pointless, especially now when- The dining hall- I need to get to the dining hall! Makoto! Uh, 
Um. Hey. Did Monokuma talk to you too? Hiro, Hina, Sakura, and Byakugan. You're the only ones here. Where's everyone else? Hmm. Either they're off trying to verify what Monokuma said, or are they fall victim to something that Monokuma mentioned. The something? Perhaps. It can't be. Has it happened again? Murder? Murder! Murder. Jesus! <laughs> <gasps> After hearing what Monokum had to say, the worst possibility forced its way into my head. It took everything I had to drive that thought away. Um. Huh? It can't be! That stuff was just a bunch of old memories. <laughs> just old memories? Don't be so sure about that. Clearly, someone felt it was more important than that. Huh? To judge someone else's values based on your own outlook, like, do you realize how dangerous that is? What the heck? What? Why didn't you say something yesterday? Naturally. Did you already forget? This isn't a co-op game. It's every man for himself. What good does it do me to go out of my way to help you? This is the worst. Stop saying that already. Uh, um. Wait. That's not important. What matters right now is that we find out what happened. That's fine. She's right. Let's all split up and begin looking. I don't even <laughs> the remember game the difference afoot. between my Kyoko and my uh, soccer voice anymore. It's just, I don't... Bruh. Um, okay, so... Kyoko was like a European with a bit of spice to it. Yeah, I know. And the, and the Sakura was like a deep Russian. Yeah, I know, but I don't remember how to do them is the problem. Like, they keep just turning into each other. Also, we so, already know where the yes, murdered person is, so... Mm -hmm. But so, there's people. Um, I knocked on all the doors, but nobody answered. Did they all go to see what happened? Uh, then what about the second floor of the school? That's the one place that's new to all of us, so it seems like the natural place for... Mierda. Mierda. You know, you really don't have to talk to everybody. They Nothing happens from this. I, I enjoy this. Uh, I don't. You're just delaying getting to the good parts. I'm gonna do this real quick. If it's a Fumi only thing. Oh, it's Sakura. This is why we do this. There does not appear to be anything here. Yeah, I think that's more what it was supposed to be. What are you doing here, Sakura? Did you find something? Oh, no. It's just what you said the other day must have been lurking in the back of my mind. Huh? Perhaps. If something has happened, the killer might try to use this to destroy evidence again. I suppose that was floating around my... Ab what is this? What is this? Who is this? Who are you? Who am I? What am I doing? <laughs> you okay? <coughs> no. Um. I suppose that was floating around my subconscious and it's. I don't know what to do, Gabe. Okay? I can't do Russian all of a sudden. Like, it's just gone. The ability is I suppose not. that was floating around my subconscious and it led me here. You That's can do also it more bad. like you can do it more like a barbarian kind of thing. And it wasn't really doing Russian, I was more doing barbarian. Thing. But I don't wanna. Soccer deserves good. I mean soccer deserves good, but if you can't do good, then make it just more stereotypical. Das Vidanya. I don't know. Say Das Vidanya. Das Vidanya. Done. You got it. Perfect. 100% okay. accurate accent. Russians don't have accents. Their words are their accents. It's like when you say Desuka in Japanese. That's an accent. I don't know, man. I suppose that was floating around my subconscious and it led me here. I'm just gonna do accent loud. Doesn't matter. Just get to the thing. Jesus Christ. 
I'm trying to. I actually chose the wrong one. Oh man, the it's gonna be someone dead. You just waste so much time. I just want to get to the good shit. I want to get to the murders. Huh? The door's open, but aren't these supposed to be locked? Bing bong. For this investigation, I have unlocked the doors. Please look around to your heart's content. So you unlocked that front door so I could just go? Uh, peace the out, brother. Investigation. It's all clear now. Byakugan. I see. Judging from what he just said, there can be no doubt a murder has taken place. Come on! In the locker rooms, they're suspicious. Very suspicious indeed, wouldn't you agree? Huh? Suspicious. <laughs> It seems nobody searched the locker room, so let's start with the girls' locker room. He was muttering as if talking only to himself. Without waiting for a reply, he pressed his hand against the girls' locker room door. And the door swung open without a sound. In that moment, time seemed to freeze. Rip. All the cute girls dying first is bullshit. Bloodlust. What? I don't know how long it took me to fully comprehend the reality of what I was looking at, but as soon as I did... <laughs> a wild, almost primeval scream escaped from my mouth. Alright, so let me knock her off the list. Well, Cassie, I can't believe you lied to me. What? I thought no one died in Danganronpa. Nobody <laughs> does die in Danganronpa. This is an I, illusion. I tried to suppress my screaming, but it was useless. It surged out of me like water from a spring gushing out of the ground. Byakia, on the other hand... Very strange. Most unusual, don't you think? He was totally calm, almost like he was watching this all unfold in front of the TV screen. Oh my god, that's so crazy. Look, Chihiro's corpse has been suspended somehow. And something's been written on the wall in blood. Bloodlust. Hmm. Such a brutal way to kill someone? No, this is beyond brutal. Wouldn't you agree? They killed her. How could it not be brutal? Hmm. But no, that's not my point. This murder is far too bizarre for any everyday amateur to have committed it. You're right. It would take a really special level of amateur to do this kind of murder. Unlike Sayaka, this murder no, was not a crime of passion or a necessity. It's almost as if whoever did this did it for fun. You see what I mean, don't you? What? My head was swimming. I was still reeling, too confused to understand what he was trying to say. And before I could even begin to clear my head... Hey, I heard screaming! I heard a girl scream! Did something... Chihiro! Ding-dong, ding-dong. I thought it was ding-dong, ding-bong. Gabe, you're streaming. What? A yeah, you're streaming. Has been discovered. Crimson just messaged me because he's in the stream. You're streaming the game. I can't hear you. Huh. I appear to have hit both buttons. Huh. You can hear me, though. Hello! Huh. Huh. It's wild. Well, I should probably stop that, right? <laughs> Most likely. I'm sure it's fine. Probably. Mm. A body has been discovered! After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin! Hey, Celeste, you want to go hang out? <laughs> yes. What the hell was that? What? Also, hey, plus side. We never had to tell Chihiro about our boring ass life. Silver linings. Oof. Ha, huh, that's right. You were unconscious during Sayaka, so you don't know about it. What you just heard was the body discovery announcement. Apparently, there were th when three or more people discover a body, an announcement place will let everyone know. I imagine so that this the search for the culprit can proceed fairly for everyone involved. Proceed fairly? Body discovery announcement that your hero really is dead. Yes. 
Before you start screaming your head off, go around everyone up. Seems another game has begun. Another life or death game to uncover a killer. Taka bolted out of the locker room. As everyone made their way to the scene, it felt as if no time at all passed. It was like my sense of time had just taken wing and flown away. When I finally came back to myself, I saw everyone had the same look of confusion, fear, and anger. We all just stood there, gathered around Chihiro's body. Damn. Damn, I could not keep her safe. So there's another victim. Which means... Oh my god, horror was a word, I thought. Oh, sorry. Which means we are now in the same position once again. Fuck, man. What the... What the fuck is this? What? It's a dream. This is a dream. It's all just a dream. In fact, I haven't even been born yet. I don't have any memory of ever being alive. Shut up. There are very few people here. I guess they just come put all the character models in the room. Just a second. Hey. Wait, there's something written on the wall. Doesn't that concern you? On the wall? I was actually hoping to talk to Mondo, but apparently you can't talk to people. No, you gotta invest in the game. The word bloodless is written on the wall in blood. So, I don't think it's any kind of dying message. It's just too strange. But you know, that thing about writing bloodless in blood, doesn't it sound kind of familiar? Genocider Show, the murderous fiend who grisly attacks were famous all well, across the I country. I mean, it's Jack in the English one. Because yeah. Show is the name of, I guess, a famous Japanese serial killer. But when they changed it to English, they realized nobody was going to know that, so Jack after Jack the Ripper. Just as long as it's not Jill, because fuck that. Yeah, the anime's dumb. What the hell was that? Who knows? Like, you have to do multiple layers of Jack and Jill to get to the Jill from, like, to Jack, and then Jack the Ripper. Like, what the fuck? That's, uh, The ultimate murderous fiend, creating a reputation of abnormal, downright, cool killings. What is this? <laughs> Alright, mysterious. Then this is some copycat killer trying to imitate genocide or genocide Jack's style? But why would anyone do that? Hmm. Perhaps it's the work of the real Genocide Jack. What? No way! There's no way! But we're going... We're going as far to write bloodlust at... Bloodlust? Bloodlust at the same. I'm surprised at their stupidity. Well... I can't imagine a worse situation than dealing with a stupid murderer. Ah. What is it now? Toko! You know, it's pointing towards the entrance to the girls' locker room. Huh? Toko was the last to arrive, and now she was just standing there. Why? 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 <laughs> Good dunk. Good dunk. Hina rushed over to the collapsed Toko and started trying to shake her awake. Oh. Toko, are you okay? Come on, wake up! Oh. Oh. That's right, I just remember what she said about how she faints any time she sees blood. Oh. So she's homophobic? <laughs> er, homophobic? <laughs> what? Homophobic. I, I imagine she does not watch too many horror films then. Uh, um... No, I think it should be okay. Regulations prohibit sleeping, like, on purpose. Mm. Just a second. Toko, can you hear me? Hey, you gotta wake up! As if she'd hear her. Toko suddenly shot awake, heard her. Okay. 
As in, she literally jumped up from where she was laying. It was such a strange reaction, I was at a total loss for words. She leapt straight up into the air, changing her stance as she did. In no time flat, she was just standing up. That's a really shittily drawn face. Like the tongue. Look at the tongue. Yeah, there's a reason. Ignoring the physical con uh, contortions she had to go through, her emotions were totally haphazard. Huh? huh? What? <sighs> Hold on. How are you going to do um, this voice? Yeah, I know. I had it written down. But it's going to be like a halfway okay. voice. Sorry about that. I was just so shocked. You know? It happens, right? Was I the only one? Helko, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Whoa, is that a dead body? Hey, are you dead? <laughs> what the heck? The world has a front and back, a top ending and a bottom, a sea of truth and a web of lies. This, this is... isn't the voice, I'm only doing this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is quite concerning. I mean, she sounds completely different. True. She was Nugget before. No, 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 no! Everything's fine! At least the stutter's all gone. That's a good thing, right? <laughs> I actually like Nugget. It's clear that everything is not fine! Your eyes seem strangely vacant! It might be best if we take her back to her room for the time being. So, um, I don't mind taking her, but... Could someone help me? If you need help, I don't mind. Um, Taka, could you help me? <laughs> she totally ignored me! Hmm. Very well. You take care of the girl, and the rest of us can begin the investigation right away. Can I assume nobody has a problem leaving Sakura and Mondo on guard duty again? Hold on a second. Rushing to an investigation? Hmm. The mastermind isn't behind that. After what happened last time, surely you realize that. Don't make me repeat that. There's no question that Chihiro was murdered by someone among us. Hm. Isn't that right, Monokuma? Of course! But don't take it as a bad thing, it's just a man it's just a fact of life, because that's how graduation works. Then it's happened again. Is that what you're saying? There's another that another one of us another one of us killed. Fell classmate. Hmm? What, does that freak you out? You guys got no balls, you know that? It's just there's nothing down there at all. Well, I'll let you pray to mine if you want. That is some kind of fetish, and I don't even know what it's called. Yeah. Actually, I don't have any either, sorry! Stop, Stop monologuing. Give us what you came here to give us. You did bring it, right? <laughs> I sure did, chum. It's I know how much you must all be looking forward to it. See ya later. So please do your very tippy top best on this investigation. No way! Do we really gotta do another investigation? We got a pull out of it last time, so what are you complaining about? There could be a donut factory on the third floor. Um. There's not, but you know. I mean, Cassie, don't ruin my dreams. Oh my god, I'm so sorry that I ruined the dream of having a donut factory on the third floor of a high school. How about you try to, you know, stop being a dick to Owie? She's precious and deserves a donut factory. I love Owie, but I'm just saying. There's no donut factory here. It's a high school. Examining the corpse of one of our friends? Having to suspect all our other friends? I hate this. I can't take it anymore. Oh, no. Help me. Hey. Where do you plan on going? There's nowhere to run. Such ignorance. Just accept it already. After all, blood is just a liquid. A dead body is a simple object. <laughs> you are very enthusiastic about all this, aren't you not? Aren't you? Naturally. Aren't you, little bugger? How can I not be? We don't unmask the culprit, we all die. That's true, but to jump into it so soon. What? 
What, do you want to die? Such Fine, then go off and die somewhere. Right now, go ahead. You're a waste of space. D damn you! The dead body is an object? Jigger wasn't an object. She would respect our beats of India. Calm down. Everyone stop bickering. There's some truth in what Biakuya said. Kyoko! Because if we don't solve the mystery and find the killer, our own lives are forfeit. And if Biakira is right, the genocide of Dak is somehow the one who killed Chihiro. That's right. Then unless we do something, more victims could start piling up. We get more victims, so if we mess this up, we're all dead meat. Hold on, hold on. If that's your worry, you don't gotta worry any longer. If anyone in anyone killing game, the guilty party may only kill a maximum of two people. Huh? What? I don't remember any rule like that. Actually, I just came up with it. I mean, if any one person went around and killed everyone, your lovely student life would be over, right? The new rules been added to the regulations menu. So then. In that case, why not limit it to one person? Hey, um. Well. In any good mystery, you don't want to miss on the on the you want to miss out on at least the potential of a serial killer angle. <laughs> Just one would probably totally murder that possibility. Uh, farewell for now. I'll catch you guys at this class trial. I can't say I understand his thinking, but if we can kill up to two people, then one more person's life could still be in danger. <laughs> Interesting. Which is definitely not good. We need to uncover the culprit before something else happens. You son of a bitch! You need to shut the fuck up! So, um... Well, for now, Taka and me are gonna drop Toko off at her, at her room. <gasps> nice! I'm gonna get dropped off! There is nothing to be done. We don't have time to stand around here. We must begin our investigating Toke Sweet. If we do not solve the mystery of who killed Tahiro, okay? then we will quickly follow her into the afterlife. That's true. I hate this, but if I want to survive, me and everyone else, we have to do it. We don't have any other choice. Just do it. First of all, I'd better check the monocle who thought to see exactly what's going on. The victim was Shihiro Fujisaki. Time of death is estimated to be around 2 a.m. The body was discovered in the girls' locker room on the second floor of the school. The cause of death was a blow to the head with a blunt object. She was killed instantly. That's all it says. Well, it's not like there's any point in complaining about it. No matter what, I gotta do what I gotta do. Monoku Uma file number two has been added to the truth bullets section of your handbook. Hmm. Hey, Makoto, do you have a second? Huh? Did you need something from me? Naturally. Of course. Life without purpose is quite dull, you know. Um, so what did you need? Huh. I'm gonna let you cooperate with me during my investigation. Huh? What? I'm purchasing your talent, the same talent which allowed you to solve Sayaka's case. Solve? No, I just... You seem to have some limited views, which is why I've chosen you. You have the honor of contributing to my investigation, so you're inviting me to come with you. You're doing it in the most arrogant way possible, though. Let's go. Now then, shall we get started? But... We need to get moving. There's no time to be standing around. I don't really know what just happened, but it looks like I'll be working with Byakuya on this one. So... We're actually about to stop the recording here, but before I do, I have to point something out. What? This happened in the school, right? Yeah. At 2 a.m., where if you're... You're not allowed to go into the school, are you? Yeah, you are. You're allowed to go into the school. Yeah, it's just certain areas are blocked off. Like, it specifically states what's blocked off. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to look into that, because I didn't think you could come here, which was the confusing I mean, part. if you look in the rules right now... Yeah, let's do that. Uh, regulations. Some areas are off limits at night. Okay. You just can't sleep anywhere else. Yeah. Okay, that was my confusion even before this trial started. I remembered this happening. 